Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany. In this quick video, I just wanted to share with you some of the little things I've been doing. Actually, I've done this over the last day or two, um, because prior to that, this past week, I haven't really gotten a lot of crafting done, so I feel really good that I've gotten these done. And um, so I'm just going to get right into it. Basically, I was inspired by a video from Spectrum Arts. That's these things I'm going to show you. And also, I did a swap, um, a pen pal pocket swap. And um, I showed in my last video what I got from Dale. But I didn't show what I sent her. And basically, it was very simple. But I used my Edith Holden book as the basis for decorating the pocket. So I actually have not used Edith Holden very much at all. I had gotten in here and torn out the pages and, and such, but I really, until this last uh, pocket swap, I had not used it. So, <coughs> excuse me. So pulling it out to use it really inspired me. So what I did is I tore out all of the pages that were did not have images on them, and then I used uh, what I'm going to show you in a minute. But first, I want to share. This is part of that. So basically, this is a part of page that did not, you know, have any images on it. And um, I just did a little booklet here. Super simple, just inked all around. And then I put this little um, graph paper. This actually graph paper index card that um, I had gotten in Happy Mail. And uh, so I have this nice little box of little journaling cards. So I said, oh, this is really cool. I'd never seen an index card that was all graph paper. So I stamped the little mushrooms on there and I'll leave this out. I'll stamp some more on there. And I put it as the writing area for this little booklet. And then there's just a little pocket here. This is a journaling card. It's actually the other side of this. I just cut the top off and used this in the front. And this is a pocket on the inside. And then I just have that tucked in there. That's also a little stamp that I have. And uh, yeah, super simple. And then yeah, a couple little flowers, punched flowers with a little gem. Nothing in the back. This is something that I shared in my last live uh, where I, was it the last one or the one before? Anyway, <laughs> made this little booklet. It's just an accordion booklet. But I used, for the hinges, I just used two strips of fabric that ran across here. So that's basically what it is. And I really like, I was going to do more to the cover, but then I decided I liked it plain like this. So it basically just flips like this. It's got this little tag here. And again, this is a, a half of the journaling card. These are plain because they're so pretty here. This, I really liked this image. I didn't want to cover it. It was originally going to be a tag, but it didn't fit in the pocket. So I just glued it on this side and I made a little card to fit in here. And I had originally stapled this little tag on there, but it um, really didn't hold really well. So this little piece of washi is covering the holes that I made. But then I decided to glue it and then just put that over it to secure it. And it worked out really well. So that's a little tab. So this tag can be pushed all the way in there. And then the little tag stick tab sticks out. And then here's the other side of that card that has a little journaling card in there. I love the, the brushes there. And then you just continue flipping. You know, you can just continually flip. <laughs> So these accordion books are neat because they're almost like never-ending books, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's what it is. I really like this project. I'm definitely gonna make more of these because I have ton of these little tons of these little journaling cards. So I want to make some more of those. Then these are the pockets that were inspired by Maddie and Madison. I actually did these two during um, lunchtime craft with me, and those are the ones I came up with. After that. I worked on these last night. So this is the uh, another envelope, just like this one, the green envelope, okay? And I made these two. So this is a larger uh, image, so it covered most of the card, but I still don't wanna make it a pocket, it's still a tuck spot, so it's open on the side. But actually, did I leave this open on the top too? Let me see, I have a little card right here. Yep, I left it open at the top. I had forgotten about that. So I need to put a little card or something in there. I'm not going to put this because it's too white. Maybe after I ink it up, um, I'll put something in there. 
but then it's a tuck on the side and then this is a little tag that has this image on it and it's also a pocket so you got pockets galore and just this one little project right here and I added that butterfly and this stamp is actually cut out of a piece of fabric a little stamp and uh, here's another card this is I believe from one of dear Julie Julie's kids got tons of her stuff printed and cut and some of it it's printed and need to cut so there's this one and then this one I decided that this image didn't have to be a square or rectangle why couldn't it just be a little uh, you know pick a uh, flower or something so I used this die cut uh, from my ephemera pack and I just put the book page behind it and I tore around it so that's the pocket it's kind of a weird shape you see that let me show you from the just torn around i just have this little piece of ephemera tucked in there as well as another little card this is from a collection of, i believe an easter scrapbooky paper collection i just liked it it's a little envelope with the back of an envelope but i just folded it for a little card in here and that's just a little from ephemera there. I like the little tiny bit of pink peeking out there. So I put a little flower here. And this is one of my scans. I scanned these little tiny post-it pads that you get at, that I got at Michael's a while back and I enlarged it. And so there it is. And there's the other pocket. And these two were a bigger envelope. This was a yellow envelope. And I had a lot of fun with these as well. And these, again, are printables that I downloaded. I think these are, yeah, I'm not going to say who because I, if I don't know for sure, I don't want to, you know. I want to give credit where credit is due. That one is definitely Dear Julie Julie. It's just printed on paper, but I just stuck it in there. That could always be glued onto something else. And then this is from a paper pack. I believe it's that same Easter, a Bow Bunny Easter pack that I have. And so is that. So fun pockets. Oh, and then I have this clock in here. That's fun. So, and then the little butterfly there. So those again are inspired by Maddie and Madison's video. I need to add the link to that below and to my live replay as well. So those are fun. Okay. And then these, like I said, um, I tore out the pages that had no images from the Edith Holden book. And I still love the handwriting, the, the font, right, that is used there, kind of like handwriting. So that shows through the napkins. So I just grabbed some napkins and glued on top of, you know, I just used a regular glue stick to glue the napkin on top. But then after everything was all dry, I went back and I inked all around. So, see, I inked all around. It really makes a difference. It's like, see, the, the back was not inked. It's just this side. So, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these pages. Some of these may be good just as pages in a book, maybe, just as they are. Uh, maybe they can be elements, like cut pieces of them to make into pockets or tags. For right now, I just really enjoyed putting, uh, putting them on the page, you know, putting the napkin and the book page together so here here they are but let me know what would you do with these you know now that they have been glued to the book page they're just really basis for stuff look how pretty and uh, I like how they're inked around too but of course if I were to use just a piece of it I would have to ink again you know wherever oh look I used that one twice how about that must really like it although I really love this one with the poppies there they're all pretty. They're all so pretty. For a long time, this one was my favorite. Until the other one came along. That's my favorite now, but I don't have it in here, oddly enough. This one is pretty. All of them are so pretty. It's amazing what a little bit of napkin on top of a book page will do, huh? Butterflies. And this one is also one of my favorites. There we go. And then this, um, for the first time ever, last week sometime, I just tore up some of the little pieces that were left over uh, from the papers that I cut off. And I actually sat down while we were watching TV and inked around all the pieces. 
So what I did is behind this paper that I've used just kind of for inking and stuff, on the other side was it was a printout from work. So I wanted to cover that. And I did that. I just covered the page with these little pieces. And then I covered, um, and then I put gel. I used, this is the first time I used this too, matte acrylic gel medium. Um, I just used this as a, as a glue this time. It's nice and, and creamy. I did not do a coat on top, which I could do that, but I haven't done that yet. Looks like I messed up a little bit. See, when I was uh, pressing it down, I messed up a butterfly right here. So I definitely would probably do, put something on top of that whenever I use this somewhere else. Uh, but look at those pretty tulips right there, that little door. So what this is, is some tissue that I got in the swap a while back. Here's some more. He did a tissue swap. I think this was from the art bar. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Actually, I did not participate in that tissue swap because I remember now that I didn't. I don't remember stamping on tissue. I think this was maybe just happy mail that was sent to me. But anyway, um, I got some of those stamped tissues and I used that on here. I'm kind of bummed out that this butterfly got messed up. But it's really just one. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, so that's what I have done over the last couple of days. It seems like I uh, I binge, you know? <laughs> like I, I have uh, some few days that I don't do any crafting at all because I want to get caught up on my laundry and other adulting things that I have to do. And then I say, well, I'm not going to craft until I get caught up. You know, thinking that would be a motivation. And then I get all moody because I haven't been crafting. So I got to sit. And then I have kind of like a binge of, you know, crafting. But it's really neat because I get some stuff done like this. All right. So I still do have a couple of projects that I'm finishing up to show you later on. And I have to finish before the end of June. And um, so I'll come up, come back with those later. But I just wanted to share these little projects with you. Let me know which one was your favorite. The little accordion book. This little simple card with the pockets. These are inspired by Spectrum Art. I think these are my favorite actually right now. Or, or just the, pap the paper that is um, glued with napkin on top of it. So I don't know. It was all fun. That's, I guess that's the important thing. I had fun doing it at all. And then I'll be able to share this in some happy mail. All right. I have yapped enough. I will let you have a wonderful Saturday um, here. I'm going to go visit my family in Miami. So that's going to be fun. But uh, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.